Hello, fiberologists. It's Tony from the Fiberology Lab, and I am excited to do a quick little demo for you to make a tea bag koozie. This is something we did for our Make It Take It for July, and I'm pretty excited because it's really simple to do, and you can do it out of your stash and, and stuff that you have at home. This um, We're starting this new series that on the second Saturday of the month, we'll have an offer to Make It Take It in the shop. You can come by, pay five to seven dollars for the kit fee, and walk out with a completed project. Again, thinking about getting those early gifts ready for the holidays, might as well start. I know, December's gonna be here really soon. So we're gonna make a tea bag cozy, and what you're gonna need is three 10 inch squares, a button, and about six inches of elastic, or if you have ribbon at home, you know, about, about eight inches um, to um, secure this whole thing together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to trim down Put this off to the side for a second. We're gonna trim down the outside and the inside of our bag koozie. So this is my outside and this is gonna be my inside. We're gonna trim this down to nine and a half inches, both of those. And then from the other, the third piece of our 10 inch squares, we're going to cut two, two, nine and a half inches by three and a half inches. So once you get those cut, uh, come on back and I'll go into the next step. All right, uh, fiberologists. Now, if you've gotten your pieces cut, we've got a nine and a half inch square here. That's my outside. This is my inside, so that's a nine and a half inch square as well. And these are my two three and a half by nine and a half pieces. Now, what I have done is press them in half and just line them up here so that, and make sure the fold is towards the center and the raw two edges are on the raw edge of the outside edge of your inner lining piece for your um, uh, tea bag koozie. Now you can be creative and put a decorative stitch across the top if you like. I'm keeping this simple for the video, but you know that once you learn the basics of these type of little projects, you can do whatever you want. Be creative and add your own piece of you. So I am now going to mark, because we want to make pockets for our tea bags to sit in. So we're going to make pockets on both um, lines, on both sides, and then we're going to go to the sewing machine. I'm using the Duo um, pen from uh, Sew Line Products, and I love this set because this is the pen, and this will erase it when I'm done. And the, what's great about this marker, it's a marker. And the other thing that's really kind of cool is that... Um, it's a dark marker. So what we're gonna do is from the edges, we're gonna come in three and a quarter inches and mark a line. So let me grab out my little ruler. All right, I count one, two, three and a quarter. Again, we don't need to be exact. This is actually a pretty generous pocket for our tea bags, depending on the brand you use. Let's go from both sides. One, two, three and a quarter. And the, the lines between them in the middle should be up three inches. So once I've got that marked, I am actually going to um, pin pin the, um, the corners and then I'm going to back stitch down here and just sew up there and back stitch again. So we're gonna just sew on these lines that I'm creating. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have sewn our pockets in here. I'm gonna show you how this really cool marker dual works so this is the eraser so you can see the line that it created and all i'm going to do is just draw over that line with this marker and if the line goes away which is kind of nice i you can use a decorative thread at this point when you start sewing because then um you know it'll just kind of accent your tea koozie so see the lines are gone i think that's so cool um let me do the other side real quick but yeah so you're gonna draw your little pockets. You can use some decorative thread. You could use decorative stitches, but I probably, for this, because they're pockets, you don't need to um, be so creative. But again, you can do whatever you want. This is your project. So now that we have the pockets sewn on, we're going to grab our elastic or ribbon, whichever you choose, and we're gonna pick the center point of one of the pockets. And with the ribbon, we're just gonna pin it in place there. And what the ribbon's gonna do is gonna wrap around the button once we get it sewn on the front. Um, but I am going to use elastic. I am actually going to um, stack it. And I'm going to pin it into the center of this pocket 
for a second. I'm gonna make it extend just a little bit past the fabric, so that way I know it's gonna get caught in that seam when I get to that point. So, um, well, that's not perfectly centered, but that's okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the outside piece, layer it on top, and I am going to pin all four layers together. And I like to um, use two different color pins to let me to know when I'm going to do an opening. So we're gonna create an opening in this. So our angle is gonna stitch all the way around, but I want about a two inch to three inch opening on the other side opposite of the elastic. So I am going to put a yellow pin here to remind me to stop. And then I'm going to do a blue pin here to say this is my starting point. And then I'm just gonna pin these four corners down because I already have those pins in the, in the project. I'll pin them and then I'm going to go back to my sewing machine and I am going to sew all the way around this square um, and the, the elastic in place I'm going to pull that pin out and I'm going to pin it through all the layers of fabric now you can use a walking foot at this point if you want to on your machine because technically on the edges you will be going through more than two layers of fabric remember anytime you are sewing more than two layers of fabric you want that walking foot on because it helps feed the fabric on the top and the bottom at the same time versus letting it slide and creating bubbles and bumps um, if you are a brave person and you just want to use a regular foot to get this done you go right ahead so i'm going to sew around this real quick and i will come back with the next step Okay, we have finished our tea koozie. Well, almost, we're almost there. But you can see I have ba back, I have gone around and top stitched my uh, a square. Now we gotta learn how to fold it. So I did go to the ironing board to do this. So what you're going to do, so my elastic's up here and our po top pocket and our bottom pocket, you're gonna fold inward. Uh, do not fold like this and try to make it work. It won't close well. So you really wanna fold in thirds towards the center. So we're gonna fold it this way and this way. And then what I did is I went to the iron and I pressed it. <clears throat> then I went to the iron again and pressed with this like um, folded up. Then I kind of, you can see, I totally did not center my button. Um, I kind of put my button on after I had pressed it and make sure my elastic would go around that button. So that's kind of how I judged it. Um, that was not very centered, but again, I'm just showing you a quick little demo. You can make sure you centered it properly. So what you're going again, so we're gonna make sure we fold towards the center. So a couple other things you can do to kind of help you remember to fold it. You can always stitch all the way across if you would like. You can also stitch down the center if you like to know where the half line is. Again, up to you. The goal of this project is to be quick and simple, and this is still a functional tea bag koozie. Other ideas for a tea bag koozie, you can put packets sugar in here, like if you use sweet and low or the blue or the yellow packets or the pink packets. You could put, um, you can put little uh, bags of jewelry in this, um, uh, pill packets, if you have pill packets as well. So this isn't just for tea bags. So it's kind of interesting to think about that outside the box because not everybody drinks tea. Um, but you know, again, this is a great little gift. You can have it on hand in your bag. If you have a friend who seems like they're down and you need to give them something to pick them up, hand them one of these out of your purse. Maybe have it filled already with tea and sugar and they will be much more happier for the day or start popping those in. Those will be perfect stocking stuffers or quick other little gifts. So there you go. That is our make it take it for July. It is a tea bag koozie. Again, you need, you need two nine and a half inch squares, two three and a half by nine inch, nine and a half inch rectangles, a button, some elastic. And if you have picked up the ribbon, I forgot to mention this, the ribbon just comes down and just wraps around the button. So you have choices, again, using what you might have at home. All right, you guys have a great one. And thank you for watching. Remember, we are friends, fibers, and fun.